talk ends September 30th in Toronto, after which he'll meet Premier Mike Harris. There's talk about me uh, being uh, acknowledged on the, at the throne speech on the 21st and, and having an audience with him uh, uh, soon after my walk is finished. Uh, and we're going to tell him, of, I'm going to give him my report. We got a really good feeling we're going to get his. And that's why I'm happy to see George working so hard to raise awareness. Like me, thousands of people across Ontario were inspired by George Marcello and the whole step-by-step -step team as he walked across the province. And that's why I invited George to join me in the legislature for the throne speech, our inaugural throne speech uh, this session. Uh, we uh, uh, announced the advisory committee to raise awareness uh, with George's help, and uh, we asked Don Cherry to be uh, honorary chair of that uh, advisory committee. And, uh, George's Ontario Walk was an unqualified success, helping thousands of people to choose to sign uh, for organ donation, and I know he can do the same through the Cross Canada Walk. Uh, in closing, George, I, I believe I can speak for everyone here today and wishing you the best of luck as you embark uh, on your coast-to-coast -coast, uh, journey, and I can assure you you have uh, my support and our government's support uh, and uh, any support that I can, uh, can bring. I'll be meeting, in fact, uh, with the Premiers uh, from across the country early in February, and uh, I'll uh, enlist support from them so you have a friendly uh, uh, reception as you go from border to border uh, across this country. We Members of the Legislative Assembly, invited guests, fellow citizens, welcome to the 37th Parliament of the Province of Ontario. George Marcello waited years for a donor before his life-saving transplant in 1995. This year, he walked across Ontario to increase awareness of organ donation. In response to Mr. Marcello's mission, and on behalf of the people of Ontario, Premier Harris has accepted as a Millennium Challenge the goal of doubling the organ donation rate by 2005. I know George is tied up, but I, I just want to add on behalf of the legislature our respect for what's being done here today. We've got an individual showing what one person can do, and in George's case, he's already shown what one person has already done. I mean, George has worn out more pairs of shoes than most of us will wear in a lifetime, and I think in the most genuine way possible, one person is going gonna, is gonna to put that back step by step all the way around Canada, and I'm very, very proud to have George as a member of our riding, somebody who's already done what he's, he's done, and just as a real, decent human being. He's not glorifying himself, he's not making himself out to be a hero, uh, he's not saying he's perfect, he's just saying this is something that needs to be done, and he's the guy that's going to do it. And I think it's an appropriate thing that he's here at the legislature to get some respect from the people that really need to see this done. We've been flummoxed how to get organ donations to take place. And here's one guy with the support from a lot of people we hope around the province is going to show us how it does get done. We bring you the story of George Marcello's journey across Canada. For the last 250 days, George has been on the road telling Canadians about the shortage of organ donations and the vital need for a national donor registry. Uh, actually, uh, today is day 252. Here when you're sorry in the neighborhood. Yes, it is. Yeah. I, I, and, uh, I, I, you know, as Mr. Rock has, has mentioned, uh, he's been following my campaign and, uh, you know, he, he, he was hearing what I was saying. Of a donated organ whose life was renewed as a result and has been spending the last few months walking across the country, carrying a torch, talking to families and Canadians along the way, bringing home the point that we should all be aware of the importance of organ donation. George Marcello, congratulations and thank you for what you've done. Thank you, George. It's 10.15 here in our studio in Vatican City. I'm Laura Angela Bagnetto. I'm sitting next to a man who has crossed one of the world's longest land masses on foot. 
Before I introduce him, let me give some background to his Herculean effort. Thanks, George, and uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm involved because I care. Um, I, I, I am a past member of the, uh, the government that, in fact, funded the Ontario Trillium Gift of Life Network to the tune of $120 million. In 1999, Premier of the day, Premier Harris, made that commitment to Ontarians to move forward on the issue. It was because of George's work that, in fact, uh, that fund was set up. It was introduced in a throne speech, and work began. It wasn't until... The Today's... Uh, uh, I have a, a pretty uh, desperate announcement. 52-year-old uh, Susie Kind uh, is presently in a Toronto hospital, and she desperately needs a liver transplant. Uh, her condition is very critical, and I'm afraid if she doesn't get her liver soon, uh, she's going to uh, pass away. And we're going to do everything we can to bring attention and hopefully give this mother a fighting chance to survive. After nine years, 15,000 kilometers, 500 communities, 4,000 events, many media stories, and even a second liver transplant, George has been relentless in helping raise Canada's poor rate of organ and tissue donations. His ultimate goal is to see Canada save everyone, over 4,000 Canadians that need these life-saving gifts. George Marcello will undertake his campaign called SOS 4000 one more time with a little help from my friends. Mr. Speaker, let us all wish George luck and success in his quest to bring this perennially important issue to the attention of all Canadians. Honourable member for Hamilton East, Stony. un attimo e ha offerto il suo. My daughter has been sick with kidney disease since 1996, and we were advised by doctors that uh, it would be in her best interest to get a, a kidney donation. But the waiting list is pretty long. A man who has devoted years of his life promoting organ donation is about to pay a high price for his work. George Marcello has been paying for his latest campaign out of his own pocket, and he's now on the verge of losing his house. Here's Sean Mallon now with a story you'll only see on Global. Okay, thank you. For 10 years since he received his first liver transplant, George Marcello has been on a marathon campaign to promote organ donation. But now he's hit a financial roadblock. Right now I need help. Like, I need help now. There's Marcello just two weeks ago with the Premier supporting his latest campaign. But he says the government has turned down all his applications for grants, and he's only been able to garner minimal corporate sponsorship. To keep the campaign going, Marcello put a third mortgage on his own house. He's $50,000 in the hole with no way of paying it back. Foreclosure looms, and he could be losing his home as early as March. It's kind of depressing and sad. Uh, a little bit of anger. He just cares so deeply, and it's made quite a real difference to a lot of recipients. Patty Latourneau says Marcello gave her huge moral support as her husband awaited a liver transplant, which came through last fall. He really needs to get some help in, in uh, pulling, pulling funders to him. Marcello is asking all three parties at Queen's Park for support in getting him a $50,000 grant to repay him for what he's shelled out, and $50,000 more to allow him to finish the current campaign. It's sad when you've got budgets of multi-millions of dollars, Ministry of Health, uh, the Trillium Gift of Life Foundation, and we can't find a modest sum to keep George out there on the road uh, where he's most effective. A spokesperson for the health minister says Marcello is welcome to submit a grant application to the Trillium Gift of Life Foundation. If he does, he could also submit this personal reference, a video from the, the Premier's own life. website. And your efforts since have given more people the second chance at life that you Sean Mallon, Global News. And every day. And so it really is a privilege for Marcello's organization is a registered charity and for more information on his work, the website is www.stepbystep.ca.